I think we have the new thing for you to do. Oh, my God. And by the way... Did you do this on your podcast? Is that how you knew about it? I did this on the podcast. What's that podcast was, called, it, Andrea? It's called Show and Tell, and it airs Saturday from noon to one here on WLS AM 890 and Sundays from 5 to 6 p.m. And I interviewed uh, one of the founders of Clue, and we have in studio the other founder, Sophie Grimm. Sophie Grimm. How come you weren't on the podcast with her? She didn't ask you? She asked the wrong person? No, Sophie's popular. I got to be courteous of her time. (laughs) You know, I'm one of the butlers, so I'm on the ground Uh, floor. She's on the ground. Making making things happen. Are you an actress by trade? I am an actor. Yes, absolutely. Uh, Sophie, lead actor in Clue, A Walking Mystery, based on the actual game, yes? Yes, indeed. Many years going on right now. I mean, I think they invented it in 1949, 59. I loved playing So where did this Clue idea come from? You guys just sit around um, and having a couple of cocktails and go, what if we... What if we made this immersive? Right, right. <laughs> right. What if we make it more crazy? Um, well, absolutely. I feel like we've all played it in the living room. And so to take it now to the streets and actually have some fun in downtown Chicago is just a really fun idea. All right, so let's get the plug out of the way. Here's how people get involved. It's a live version of Clue. That's right. You got a group of people that you work with, mm-hmm. or families in town or whatever. What do they do? Mm-hmm. Well, you, uh, groups of five or less maybe come through and you become families of these beloved characters. The so, characters okay. that you know from Clue. So, like so how do they... Scarlet. Scarlet, and- Colonel Mustard. How do they sign up? They, they go right to feverup.com or the cluewalkingexperience.com. You get your tickets right there and you sign up. We've got games starting every 20 minutes. But what's nice about it is it is go at your own pace game. So you take as much time as you want. You go to all these iconic places downtown Chicago and maybe have a snack, have a cocktail, mocktail, full meal, and then also have this mystery game going on the whole time. No, it sounds like tons of fun. Mm-hmm. And uh, is this the new escape room? I think so. I think we call it the progressive escape room. We call it a puzzle hunt. We call it a pub crawl with a mystery, you know? Ooh, I like that. Mm -hmm. It's cool. I thought initially it was like an adult scavenger hunt, which it kind of is, but you're trying to solve the mystery, and at each of these iconic locations, there are clues. That's right. So in our version of it, it's as though after the murder happened, after the investigation happened, they sold all of the artifacts from this infamous mansion, and they have been sold to downtown Chicago And they've been businesses. spread out in various places. That's right. And I it's like different that idea. For, it's different for every group, right? Yeah, well, yeah. they're, they're going to walk the through and yeah, they're going to find an artifact perhaps in London House, Harry Carey's, and then they actually interact with that piece. See, maybe there are some coats that have rips in them. What are we going to think about? What are we going to look for, you know? Oh, that's cool. So you mm-hmm. work together to solve the murder. How do you keep uh, uh, laws from being broken? I go into Harry Carey's, start going through the coat room, uh, coat room and just start uh, <laughs> checking out people's pockets. Uh, you don't right. advise that, I suppose. <laughs> no, no, you do. Okay. You do. When you get to Block 37, which is where it starts, you meet a butler with your group, and then you get this auction catalog. You cannot win the game without this auction catalog. It has lots of clues for you, and that brings you to every space to know exactly which artifact you're looking for. So you're you're right. We're not trying to have people uh, snoop through other places besides the actual artifact. So the business, this. This, is, this is a great thing. Get some exercise. Mm-hmm. Get some fresh air. But uh, I would assume when you get a hold of businesses and say we want to make you part of this interactive thing, they probably are into it, I would think, right? Yeah, I feel like it's a win-win situation. So many times I have people come and visit me and they say, we just kind of want to walk around and you don't really know what to do. And so this gives you the opportunity to have something to do, keep your focus, keep your hands busy, and then you can look around and see all the beautiful sights. That's a cool idea. And each of the places, I know Magnolia, I'm not giving anything away, Magnolia Bakery, Mm -hmm. which is wonderful downtown at Block 37, each place has some sort of a treat or a discount or something like that to go along with it. We definitely have relationships with everybody just to make it worthwhile for all of the people involved. And it's nice now we have families do it. We have friends do it. Bachelorette parties go on a date. And now we even have group rates for people who want to have a business meeting where you have instead of a happy hour, maybe you go on a mystery tour. We need to put this on our list instead of business meetings. Take Clue, the walking mystery tour. No, everybody should do it. Now, (laughs) this has been going on for how long? Uh, Since July. We've only been going up for a couple months, but we did have an extension after Labor Day. We're going through Halloween, so we want you to come out through Halloween. Come on out. Time's going to go fast, so Mm -hmm. get involved and uh, sign up today, as we say. All right, so what's the fastest anybody's been able to do this? We have had some people who are, I'm going to say, professional puzzle uh, goers, and so they've done it in less than two hours, but that is pretty extreme. 
extreme since that means you're not going to be having any treats along the way. You're right. not having fun. Right. If we bring Tom, we're going to solve it in probably an hour and a half. Yeah, Tom, I that's think. not the point, Tom. Highly intelligent. It's a pub crawl game thing. No, I'm I'm really bad at puzzles, actually. I, I don't know Are if you? I'd be able to solve this murder. I bet you could. Me and well, Miranda would be enjoying the treats murder. and you'd be... I, well, I, well, no, I mean, not I'd be you, looking up at the buildings going, wow, this has no, been here for long. <laughs> no, you walk a little slower, so what? you might be. How uh, dare you. At the end. You, you need all sorts of people yeah. to be a part of your the detective thanks team. For, you know? Thanks for making me think I'm like involved. Like a trivia team. You yeah. Know? You, like, yeah, yeah. you bring in another facet to all of That's us. That's right. And That's the, right. the people behind the game, Clue, I assume, love the idea. Oh, wonderful. Yes, absolutely. Well, we have the Hasbro company, the board game company. They made a 2023 version where they have Chef White, Solicitor, Peacock, um, along with yes, oh yeah. yes, indeed. So everybody's kind of amped up. Maybe Mayor Green as well, and they've taken this now to say, okay, how can we involve all these places? And so our actual puzzle makers, it's the Wild Optimists. They came through with Right Angle Entertainment and created this entire narrative. And now you got about seventy five clues you're looking through. It's tremendous over That's all cool. these hours. Yeah, it's fun. I would think too with true crime being such a hot category. Yeah. That, that probably spikes this too, right? Yeah, it does. It, it's a little fun to say, okay, fair warning, there are some blood in this picture. You know, <laughs> right. you're going to have to look like a detective would. Follow that blood trail. It's fun. It's you know, and, hey, Nick, it. I was thinking, based on the shortage of detectives at CPD, maybe we could get the clue people <laughs> yeah, to actually right. solve some real crimes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. They could you bet the mayor would the... probably come through on that. No question about it. <laughs> right? Um, all right, so uh, get the plug out again so people uh, who are paying attention or trying to pay attention, they're driving. Uh, it's an easy website, right? Yeah, it's feverup.com. Feverup, and F-E-V-E-R-U-P. Mm-hmm. You got it. And just following our successful run in this summertime, we wanted to bring it into the fall, so we're excited to have it through Halloween. Come on out, help us out, uh, feverup.com to solve these mysteries. All right, Andrea, this is, you've done, you've, you've, you've done this in, in your brain. Yeah, yeah. You've did the interviews, so what else do we need to know? I really want to do this with you guys. I just want to know, can I be Miss Scarlet? Absolutely. You'll be the descendant of Miss Scarlet. Oh. So we're all detectives. We're descendants of the butlers. You're descendants of all of these beloved characters, and we're going to figure out the mystery, finally solve I love it. That. I see you being more of a Colonel Mustard. Mm-hmm. Distinguished. <laughs> right, distinguished. Why am I always the old guy? No, no, good looking. Now, here's and the suave. thing, and, and I, I say this as a compliment because... Tony and Tina turned out to be a bit of a punchline. Tony and Tina, when it started, was the hot thing everybody had to do. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And that interactive theater thing that everybody got involved with. So you've got a pub crawl. You got uh, the Tony and Tina sort of thing. Mm-hmm. You got an escape room sort of thing. You got a whole bunch of cool ideas that crash into each other here. Yeah. And I think it's a brilliant thing. Thank you so I much. I salute you. Yeah, it, it's, it's a real fun, and especially for anybody who doesn't perform or act or do what you all do, it's it's basically saying, okay, you can lean into theatrics for today. Time for you Have to be stage center. Yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly. We're doing this. Spotlight's on you. <laughs> um, one more time, feverup.com. That's right, feverup.com with a clue walking experience. Come on out. And Thanks, if they want to hear the interview you did, uh, I assume we archived the yeah, podcast? Yeah, we, uh, we uh, aired it last weekend, so it'll be on show and tell, WLSAM.com. Just click on show and tell podcast. All right. Great to meet you. Well, thanks, Great Sophie. to meet you. I want to hopefully see you on the street, and I mean that as a, you know, a good thing. <laughs> it's uh,